dropping this one from the car, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a personal trainer uh, by trade. So, you know, I have early morning clients why it's dark and stuff like that. But anyway, um, I'm going to read uh, this text from uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3. It's going to be verses um, 1 through 9. You know, but understand this, that in the last days there will be there will come times of difficulty for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to parents ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having an appearance of godliness but denying his power avoid such people for among them are those who creep into household and capture weak women burdened with sins and led astray by various passions always learning and never able to arrive to the truth, to the knowledge of, at a knowledge of the truth. Just as Janus and Jambres opposed Moses, so these men also opposed the truth. Men corrupted in mind and disqualified regarding the faith. But they will not grow. They will not get very far, for their folly will be plain to all as was that of those two men. When I first read, when I, I first read that text, um, when I first placed faith in Christ, you know what I mean? And I'm, you know, you know, reading it and I'm, I'm looking at uh, the world and stuff like that. And you clearly see it. But here I am 10 years in. And, um, I'm seeing more of this in the body within believers and it's quite alarming especially with the rise of social media ministries you know you know people um, you know social media ministries people will slander a believer in Christ will slander another believer in Christ with the quickness they will lie on another believer in Christ with it, with the quickness. They will lie, blatantly lie, because they have full control of their platform and will lie. You know what I'm saying? Like lie. Like it's it's amazing to me. You know? Um I've been on TikTok for about um 15 months and it's a, a huge Christian community on there, you know, different beliefs and different doctrines and different denominations, so on and so forth. Lots and lots of debates. But there are some that are pretty solid that are teaching the word, you know. Um, but I'm just one of those guys that. If your orthodoxy don't match your orthopraxy, I can't take you serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of those believers in Christ that believe that holiness is still a requirement. You know, not perfection, not being perfect, right? Not not, not someone that doesn't, you know, make mistakes. I I'm talking about holiness, being set apart, you know, from the world. Some people may call that legalism. I just call it being biblical. Christ did not. I believe firmly that Christ did not save us 
so that we could sprinkle him on top of our worldliness. I, I just don't believe that. I don't see that in scripture. I, I see the apostles um, taking a hard stand against false teaching, against ungodliness, against being slanderous, against lying. I see it. A hard stand a stance against it. So, you know, over the past few weeks, I've had some run-ins with um, those, with uh, uh, two people, two people mainly, that um, claim to know, they claim to profess Christ. One guy is a pastor and, um, you know, he got caught. Um, he got caught, you know, uh, making um, inappropriate comments on a woman's page. And when he was confronted privately, instead of owning up to it and just, you know, saying that, you know, you know, owning up to it, he blame shift. And then all of a sudden his his TikTok became, you know, he's he's not only preaching, he's putting up his preaching and teaching, but what he's preaching about and teaching about. He played the victim. Same thing with this other guy. You know what I mean? Claim to know Christ. Um he misrepresented um some of us on his platform. Uh, I went on his platform to try to correct him. He plays the victim and, you know, proceeds to kick me off his platform. And, you know, it's just amazing to me how so-called men these days lack manhood. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, you lack manhood. It's really sad. You will slander a person with the quickness as if Christ does not tell us that we will be judged by every idle word. You know what I mean? As believers in Christ, we are obligated to uphold the truth. You know, we we don't have the luxury of misrepresenting someone. You know, that's called intellectually that's that's being intellectually lazy. You know, that's being disingenuous. And you see that a lot. You see that a lot within believers in Christ. And it's, it's sad. It's, it's really sad these days. So it's like Paul's words is coming alive. But I didn't know that Paul's words was really um, prophetic to those that claim Christ. I thought that this may have been, you know, for those that are in the world but it makes sense right because um what verse is that verse 8 says just as janice and jambres opposed moses so these men also oppose the truth men corrupted in mind and disqualified regarding the faith in order to be disqualified you have to be what claiming to be a believer you know what i'm saying i should have known man should have known but yeah man i just wanted to um drop that real quick and i may be doing a little bit more videos from my car because <laughs> you know i got to go to work and you know why not right why not? Everything don't have to be pretty and stuff like that, right? But yeah, though, man, thank you guys for watching, man. Um, go ahead and uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this with someone if you will. You know what I mean? Grace and peace.